Hey Trackies, welcome back to another video here on TXD Track. Please remember to like the video and also subscribe to the channel. I am in a celebratory mood. Yes, I am quite jubilant. Why? Because double gold for Jamaica in the 4x100 meters. Yes, not for only the girls, but the men pull it off or the boys pull it off and they carry home an absolutely phenomenal gold medal for Jamaica as well. So let's kick things off with the girls. I think going into this particular championships, it was pretty clear, at least on paper, that Jamaica stood a chance of not only walking away with gold but also potentially shattering the world record held by none other than team jamaica yes that's how phenomenal the set of girls that are also meeting up in 2024 are and i thought to myself hmm the possibility definitely does exist for these athletes to be able to go away with a world record and then to top things off after watching alana reed fixing her lip gloss meandering along in the heat i was like okay there's a little doubt at this particular point that Jamaica is going away with that gold medal. It's practically just a question of how fast will Team Jamaica actually go, right? That's literally my thought process. Well, for the finals, they switched things up just a little bit, right? They added Shanoya Douglas, which I did, you know, say that we do did um, stand the possibility of seeing her um, in the uh, finals here. And they started her in on the first leg. Interestingly, quite controversially, I'll get to that in a little bit. But anyway, they added her on the first leg. Still to Alia Baker, still to Brianna Campbell and still to Alana Reed. And the only change would have been on the first leg. On the first day, we did have Sabrina Dockery, right? No, they made that switch. Still led to a gold medal, as I said running a season's best 43.39 seconds to go away with a wonderful gold medal for team jamaica now switzerland was in second they ran 4406 a national under 20 record and canada was in third and they ran a 4460 no even though i'm celebratory and happy and you know jubilant about this gold medal and as i said you know going in on paper and everything that jamaica was doing you know based on the rounds as well did indicate that we were going away with that gold medal and we were definitely not going to be challenged things were not smooth at all for team jamaica when it comes to that relay first and foremost my first thought was okay yes we're adding shanoya douglas i wanted them to add shanoya douglas why shanoya douglas and the start you know that was literally my first you know thought because if we all know anything about shanoya douglas she actually doesn't get the best start and like i thought in my brain watching you know this structure she didn't get the best start actually team usa was literally right upon shanoya douglas from the get go giving Shan um, team usa based on the, the stagger the actual lead which propelled them into the next two legs as well well ahead of jamaica and i'm going to tell you something if team usa did not botch that anchor leg it would have been very interesting to see if alana reed would have been able to run down team usa because while it was easy for them to run down everybody else and you know put um team jamaica in the gold medal position a, a good team usa with girls that not necessarily are as fast as jamaica but well rehearsed i don't necessarily think that we would have been able to take them down but they botched that final handover unfortunately and ended up being disqualified and as i said even though i'm celebratory it's kind of annoying it's kind of annoying again watching this play out again because for me personally i'm also wondering where is the likes of a karika hill why wasn't she slotted in right we already saw alia baker and a brianna campbell you know they were gonna get a medal as well and then when you factor in the fact that karika hill given the fact that how well she ran in her hurdles race to win that gold medal seemingly is in great shape as well so the question is why didn't she run is she ill now or did she choose not to run what exactly is going on there when it comes to how this team was you know um struck in my opinion i think this was the worst way to structure the team but it still led to a gold medal so i guess i can't complain too much even though i'm going to complain about it right but anyway track is that's what happened for the girls we were fortunate to go away with that gold medal because first leg unfortunately didn't give what the first leg was supposed to give even though i knew it wouldn't because she's not the best you know starter i don't know why they would put her on the first leg and then alia baker to brianna campbell they tried track is but you know they weren't able to make up that deficit um lana reed was really the clincher for us in this relay um as i said unfortunate for usa but lucky for us um they botched that button because that let us go away with that gold 
gold medal. Now, moving on to the boys, because this one was definitely, definitely a surprising result. Now, from the heats, um, Team Jamaica went in very strong. Jay Switter, Gary Card, Nairon Wade, DeAndre Daly went in with the fastest um, time, a 39.54 second season's best. But I was still keeping my eye on, Th on Thailand. That was literally behind them by two one hundredths of a second. Thailand was definitely going to be in it. They ran a national under 20 record as well. And I was thinking, okay, this is going to be interesting. We look like we're going to get on the medal podium, but it may not be that gold medal. Well, look here. The boys scraped through phenomenally and gave that gold medal. And I'm absolutely proud of them, especially the final leg, DeAndre Daly. Very, very impressed um, by his run down. He was literally, you know, probably fourth, fifth, sixth, as far as I'm concerned, you know, coming into that anchor leg. And he literally, you know, blazed a trail, you would say, or left everything on the track to win that race by only, guess what? Literally only two one hundredths of a second from Great Britain. Yes, it was that close. Jamaica won 39.18 seconds and Great Britain was second, 39.20 seconds with Thailand in third with an, an, another national under 20 record, 39.39 seconds. So it was a season's best for Jamaica, season's best for Great Britain. I thought, you know, when it came to Jamaica, it definitely wasn't the best um, change, changes for sure. Plus, also, I noticed a big flaw um, in our racing when it comes to the relays. We're actually not using up the zone. And it's not something that I noticed only from the juniors, but it's something that I also noticed with the seniors as well. Because we're not getting any practice. And yes, the athletes are not getting any practice. I, heard, I kept hearing them saying, oh, Jamaica is well rehearsed. I was like, which Jamaica is well rehearsed? These, these athletes are literally, you know, just coming in from whatever they learn from high school. They're not well rehearsed in any way, shape, or form, right? And it shows because they're not able to stretch the zone. When I looked at DeAndre Daly, he was literally getting the button at the beginning of the zone, right? And then, you know, had to watch Great Britain and all these other countries well ahead of him. And I thought to myself, okay, Jamaica, if you don't see a problem right now, yes, we got a gold medal. Yes, we got two gold medals, as a matter of fact. But I hope you're seeing these issues because these issues need to be resolved because we can't count on USA always botching the button. They botched the button, you know, in the heats. And so did also potential favorites, you would say, you know, to walk away with this four by one gold. South Africa, South Africa wasn't able to make it in um, to these finals as well. So you can't count on people, you know, having blunders. And I never really like to have athletes blunder anyway, because we can blunder too. And I never want that to happen. Right. So I'm never looking out for that. It does happen from time to time, but I don't want that to be the reason why we're meddling. I want us to win based on our own merit, based on the fact that we put everything together perfectly and run the best race, right? That's what um I want Jamaica to always be, the best, right? <laughs> but with that said, Trackies, even though I'm complaining a bit about, you know, the things that I saw going on with the team, I'm happy and, and excited for them and I'm congratulating them as well for a great performance. You know what? It's not... It has nothing to do with the athletes, clearly. You know, I'm just complaining about, you know, whatever <laughs> management team is over there doing whatever um, they're doing. But the athletes themselves um, did the best they could. And I'm definitely appreciative of the medals. And yeah, excited to see Jamaica get two medals here from the 4 by 100 meters. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.